Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, it's on some brother sent me question from India. He asking uh, there was a Bollywood actor named Sushant Rajput. Will he go to Jannah or or Jahannam? السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و صلی عمر و اہل الوقت من لسانی یقو قالی سو دا بیس میں کوشچن سمری اسک می شانت ہیز بین ہی ہیز ڈن ا سوئسائڈ سو ایدر ہی از گوئنگ ٹو گو ٹو ا جننا اور ہی از گوئنگ ٹو گو ٹو ہیل ول دیز ا کرائٹیریا بین گیون ان دا ہولی قران ور ایٹ سیز ان ابلی سو واز سو ون اور 3 وین سیز ال سیز ول اسر ان ال انسان لفی خسر الا الذین آمنو و عامل السوالی ہاتی و تواس الحق کے و تواس الصبر سو دا دا کرائٹیری ان آڈر ٹو گو ٹو جنا از دا فسٹ ون دا ون ہو بلیوز ان دا کریٹر نمبر ون سو فار ایگزامپل اف سم ون بلیوز آن سم تھنگ ایلس دیٹ کنسیڈر سم ون ایلس ایز ایز اے گاڈ اور سم ون Uh, but according to the Quran and then when all the messengers came from Adam Islam and after the uh, Prophet Sallallahu they came with the one message and the one message was what worship one God there is no partners and uh, we cannot associate anybody uh, with Allah so there's only one creator who created all the galaxies and all the universe and everything and he's a lone creator a lone sustainer and he's the only one that we worship and he is an imageless he does not have any image he does not have any statue or anything so this is the criteria has been given in the surah al-asr al-asr insan al-afi khusr illa ladina amanu and the first criteria to go to jannah that is you have to have a belief there's a creator and you should worship him because from Adam alayhi salam and all the way up to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam all the messengers came with the one message the message was do not worship the statue do not worship an idol now what in the case of uh, even it's a Muslim who suicide would he go to Jannah so now uh, according to the hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam say the one who does the suicide that is against the laws of Allah and someone who, who does the suicide uh he will get the same punishment until the day of judgment he will continue doing the uh the same thing until the day of judgment and the base on when he say la ilaha illallah he will go to jannah but when it comes to the, in the matter of a uh, non muslim who does a suicide just because of uh, a depression or it could be a tragedy or it could be some other Um, matter so would he go to Jannah or would he go to hell but I just explained that before there's a criteria in order to go to Jannah that the person has to believe there is only one creator and there is one Allah and he's a lone sustainer and he should not be worshipped any other than one God and other than that his matter is with Allah alone uh, we are not being uh, we are not the judge we are not going to be doing a justice on a behalf of a Muslim or the non-Muslim but what we have to say what the scriptures has to say and it is being started from all the way of Adam al-Islam up to the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they all came with the man messengers that Allah may forgive any other sins but he will not uh, forgive the sin of shirk so which is basically someone um, which someone has a mother and he will start calling uh someone other uh woman that he that she is uh his mother so it's a similar these so the creator of a universe created us and uh, he created us so we can worship him as it says in the surah zariyat was number 36 uh wama khalaqtul jinna wal insa illa li'abudun allah created uh insan ins and jinn human beings and the jinns to just worship him and nothing else and also there is a uh, verse in the surah the mulk verse number two where allah says allah di khalq al maat wal hayata liyablukum ayyukum ahsanu amala and allah created uh Allah created the, the life and the death so he can test it you and test in what actually so that's a point test in what that who from uh, from our birth and up till our death who do we worship did we worship Allah or did just we just consider uh, someone else as a God he is a sustainer and he is the one 
the problems are and somebody is going to heal us or anyone else like uh, believing on idols to be a god and believing on someone else to be baba sheikh or whatever to believe on them as to be a god and the other healer or anyone this is all shit and someone has to believe in one god there's a one creator and he's a sustainer and he's the one who's cured and he is the one sustain us and he is a control of everything universe so this is the first criteria has been criteria has been given in the surah al was lesser in the insan allah fi khuzur illa alladhina amanu wa aminu salihati now here's the number one allah says the one who believes who has an iman on one allah and who has done the good deeds now there's another question comes up what if someone has done a very good deeds and uh, he's a non-muslim so again we come to the same point like from the adam alayhi salam and up to, from no allah islam and up to the messenger uh, the last messenger of allah uh, the the ship was started in the time of no alayhi salam when they created the idols and the worshipers worshiping in idols and statues when they created the the statues of the one the pious people who passed away and uh, they started worshiping from the idol from that time up to it's still continue and it changes into the hinduism and other than there's no such a thing all of hinduism it's uh, actually it's like a idol worshippers so this is the problem was being started in the time of and away and then up till now it's going to be continuing going on so those people who understand what they're doing wrong they have been reverting back to their own religion which was to cre- to worship one god who created them and who is unseen and shouldn't be making a statue of him and should not be making an idol of him and in order uh, to answer for the sushant rajput was being he's going to go to hell or jannah we are we have to give an answer from the scripture and the scripture says the one who has to go to jannah this is the criteria even it's a muslim passed away in, in the suicidal and uh, still he's accountable for his suicide and he's going to get a punishment until the day of judgment and the one who is a normal person who done the suicide because of the uh, depression or anxiety or he has some type of tragedy or family problems or anyone here his uh, judgment is in the hands of allah uh, he's going to go to hell or heaven we are not to have to judge but we have to judge from what the scriptures of god say the scriptures of god says uh, that the one who believes on the creator and the one who has done the good deeds and he's going to and who has the sabr who has a patience and uh, uh, he has to uh, take the trials of allah and then he is going to pass that then he's going to go to jannah so we are not supposed to be uh, judging on a sushant that he's going to go to hell or heaven but but we have to talk from the what the scripture says the scripture says we have to believe on god and there's no idol worshiping and uh, we should not be worshiping anything else except the one creator and no peers no babas no grave worshiping nothing except the one grave one god who is in the throne and he is the one supposed to be worship and uh, we are not supposed to be judging about society right he is going to go to hell or heaven